what's up it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel in today's video what I'm going to be doing is an updated drugstore foundation routine I know ah, drugstore foundation routine I haven't done a drugstore video in so 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 long so I wanted to kind of bring it back and do some more drugstore looks here on my channel today I will be doing just updated foundation routine so primer foundation concealer powder also bronzer highlighter and blush I'm not gonna be doing any of the eyes or any of the lips if you guys do want to see kind of like a full glam drugstore look let me know in the comments because you guys know I got you and I would definitely film that if you guys want to see it of course I do want to let you guys know that this video will be my very first talk through video so get excited get pumped because I had a lot of fun kind of just talking to the camera it's a lot different than doing like voiceovers and I felt like it was really fun so thumbs up for talk throughs and I'm gonna go without further ado let's go ahead and get into the foundation routine all right so to start I'm gonna go in with a primer before you do go in with primer I definitely recommend going in with a moisturizer of some sort I've already moisturized my face now I'm going to go in with a primer today I will be using the NYX pore filler face primer which is my favorite primer from the drugstore. I'm just going to take a very little bit of this on the very back of my hands. I don't really have really large pores compared to some people, but I do have pores. So I'm going to go in with this pore filler because it's really going to fill in those pores to create a really nice like canvas for our foundation to kind of go on top of. So I'm going to place this right here and I'm really going to work it in with my fingers. Do you guys like see this? So I had like a really painful pimple right here and it was like irritating me. So I like popped it and now it's like a scab, which definitely wasn't a good choice on my part, but it's all good. It'll go away. After primer, I'm going to go in with a foundation. Today I am using the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. It has an airbrush finish. I absolutely love it. I think it is amazing, especially for the price. It's drugstore. It is medium to full coverage. You can build it up to very full coverage and it just looks amazing on the skin. So I'm just going to take a pump of this on the back of my hand and it does have a lock on it. So that's pretty cool. So you want to unlock it and then you want to pump it on the back of your hand. So I'm just going to take a pump just like this. I am going to apply my foundation with a damp beauty blender they do have a drugstore version of kind of like the beauty blender in a sense it is called the real techniques miracle sponge it is orange so if you guys want to pick that up that is definitely an alternative for this beauty blender I know this is kind of like a drugstore look so I don't want you guys to be like oh you use a beauty blender but you guys can definitely use like the miracle sponge so I'm just going to dab a little bit of this on the beauty blender and I'm gonna start in the very center of my face and then I'm gonna work my way outwards and the reason I start in the very center of my face is because I don't want that horrid foundation line. So when you start in the middle of your face, the majority of the product is going to stay in the middle and then you're going to blend outwards. So you won't have that foundation line. You're also going to want to make sure you blend this down into your neck area. So that way you cannot tell that you are wearing foundation. Mm -hmm -hmm. I mean, you're going to tell that you're wearing foundation, but just so that way everything blends. Next up, I'm gonna go in with a concealer. Today I am using the Maybelline Fits Me Concealer. This one is in the shade number 20, Sand. Normally I use a light, but they didn't have my shade at the drugstore, so I'm just gonna work with what I have. I'm gonna apply this directly underneath my eyes in kind of like a triangle form. And I'm gonna do this to both sides. Some people normally go in with concealer to cover up dark circles and stuff like that. I personally don't really have really dark, dark circles or anything like that. I really don't have any dark circles at all. So what I really like to do is like to go in with a lighter shade concealer to highlight my face and really brighten it up, which is why it is lighter than my foundation shade. So I'm also going to place this on my Cupid's bow to highlight my Cupid's bow down the very bridge of my nose and focusing on the very tip of the nose. I'm also going to apply it right where my smile lines are and around the nose because this is an area that tends to get really red on us women. Now that we have our tribal stripes, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender again and I'm just going to work this and blend everything out. You guys know normally I set my under eye concealer with the Laura Mercier brightening powder, but it's a bit pricey. And since this is a drugstore full face video, I will be going in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Very, very affordable. You can pick this up at like Walgreens, CVS, also Walmart. So I'm going to apply this powder under my eyes how I normally would. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. I'm not going to re-wet it or anything like that. I'm just going to use it exactly how it was after I finished blending out my concealer. I'm going to dab a little bit of this into the Airspun Loose Powder. And then I'm going to place this directly underneath my eyes, which is really 
gonna set that concealer in place and really keep it locked and loaded so that way, you know, it doesn't crease or it doesn't move throughout the day. I'm also gonna take this loose face powder on all the areas where I put concealer to really set that concealer in place. So on my chin, around my smile lines, Cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. To set the rest of my face, I am going to take this right alongside of the areas where I'm going to apply bronzer. The reason that I do this is so that way that bronzer won't cling on to the tackiness of my foundation. Once that's done, I'm gonna go in with the F30 Large Powder Brush by Sigma and I'm just going to brush all that powder off of my face. Now I know that this is a foundation routine, but I am gonna go the extra mile and I'm gonna contour my face because I always do that. I do have a few recommendations as far as like affordable contour bronzing products. So the first one I want to share with you guys is this one by NYX. This is the NYX Contour Kit. I absolutely love it because you do get four highlight shades and you also get four contour shades. This is such an awesome palette. I wanna say it retails for maybe about $25 or so, which may be a bit steep, but compared to the other contour kits that are out there that are like the Anastasia ones and the Kat Von D and the Lorac, they're all $45 plus. So this is definitely a steal and you would definitely get a bang for your buck. The other one I do recommend that is a little bit cheaper is this one right here by City Color. This is their Contour Effects Palette. Now the only difference between this one and the NYX one is that this one has three shades in it whereas the NYX one has eight different shades. So you get one highlight shade which is pretty much a stark white. And then you also get this one, which is kind of like a lighter contour shade, and you also get a deeper one. This particular palette, I wanna say I bought it for maybe about $10 at Gen Beauty way long ago. I'm not sure what they retail for, but I will link it down below just in case you guys are interested in any of these two products. The brush I'm using to contour today is gonna to be the MAC 135. If you guys are looking for more of an affordable option to this brush, I definitely recommend picking up the Morph uh, M500 brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the product I am going to take the shade right here and I'm going to dab it onto my brush a little bit. Tap off the excess. I like to start on the very temples, so I'm going to brush the product right here. And this product is very pigmented, so I would be careful. A very little bit does go a very long way. Whatever I have left on the brush, I am going to take it down my neck area so that way everything just blends. So I'm just going to brush it right here. Underneath my chin, because I got a little bit of a double chin. Oh, chubby. I am now gonna go in with a highlighter, and let me tell you, it was so hard to find a highlighter that I absolutely love. I actually had this deep into my makeup drawer and I kind of forgot about it, and when I thought about filming this video, I was like, oh my God, what highlighter am I gonna use? Because I love like the Anastasia highlighters and the new Mac Oh Darling, and I was like, I can't use those because this is like a full face kind of drugstore look, so. I found one in my makeup drawer and this is one that I loved for so long in the very beginning of the year but like I said I put it in my makeup drawer and I kind of forgot about it. So the highlighter I am using today is by Physicians Formula. This is Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip in the shade Warm Nude. Absolutely amazing. It is so gorgeous and it is so affordable. So to apply my highlighter today I am going to go in with the Anastasia A23 highlighter brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this onto my brush maybe a little bit more than a little bit and I'm going to apply it right here and I do like my highlight to be very 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 intense so after I apply it I am going to just blend it out and I'm going to blend it downwards and I really want the focal point to be right here I want it to be its brightest and its most intense towards this area you don't want to apply a lot. A lot of people always put a ton of highlighter right here and it just doesn't look too hot. You want to apply the most right here and you kind of want it to fade into like a gradient effect on the apples of your cheeks. I really like to glow so I'm also going to take this product on the very tip of my finger and I'm going to apply it to my nose and I'm not flicking you guys off I swear. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more on the very tip of my brush and I'm going to kind of buff it out so that way it's not a stark kind of circle on my nose. I also like to take this product on the very bridge of my nose right here. I'm just going to blend that out. Forward. And then I'll take a little bit onto my brush, hit my Cupid's bow, 
for blush. Today I am going to go in with an oldie but a goodie and I'm going to be using Milani's blush in the shade Luminoso which is this really pretty kind of like peachy orange shade and I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. I am going to be using the Sigma powder blush brush. This is the F10. I'm going to take a little bit onto my brush like this. I'm going to tap off the excess so that way we don't have overdone blush because that's never a good look. I'm going to focus the majority of the blush towards the hairline and I'm going to fade it out to the apples of my cheeks. Now if you want to go the extra mile you can sharpen up your contour and the way that I like to sharpen up my contour is to go back in with the airspun loose powder on a beauty blender and I'm going to apply this directly underneath the contour right in this area and this is going to create a really nice sharp edge and it's really going to clean up that contour shade. After you place it, you just want to let it sit there for maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my eye makeup, lips, eyebrows, that kind of thing, and then I will be right back. Now that our makeup is completely done, I did my eyes and also my lips off camera, it's time to go in with a setting spray. Normally I will gravitate towards my Herbe Decay Makeup Chill Setting Spray just because that thing is like my holy grail and I absolutely love it. But for the sake of this video, a more affordable option that I am using is the NYX Makeup Mist and Set Spray, which looks just like this bad boy right here. I did pick this up from Target for like three bucks, so it's dirt cheap, and I heard a lot of people rave about this particular product. So I'm going to apply it in an X formation and then a T formation. So after you sprayed that setting spray, that is pretty much it. Your makeup is gonna be locked and loaded. It's not going anywhere, and you're still gonna have a really nice glamorous look. I do want you guys to know that you don't always need to use high-end products to get a really nice polished look as you can see I did use all drugstore products as far as my base goes and it still looks really really good and I mean just because I use like a Giorgio Armani foundation in my makeup tutorials doesn't necessarily mean that you guys have to use what works for you use what you have as you saw I did use this Maybelline um, dream liquid mousse foundation and it looks so good it looks as good as probably wearing a Giorgio Armani foundation so keep that in mind you don't always have to splurge a lot of money on makeup to get a really good polished look. Also, if you guys do like talk through videos, let me know in the comments down below. This was my very first talk through video ever. So it was completely different. It was kind of nerve wracking. I was like stumbling over my words. I had to do it a few times in order to like get it down, like get down exactly what I wanted to say. But I feel like the more I do them, the easier they will come and the easier the words will come out, I guess, if that makes any sense. But if you guys really did like them or did like this video, let me know as far as like talk through goes because I'll be happy to film more for you guys. You just get a let me know and yeah I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be sure to see you guys all in my next video bye guys okay I just watched <laughs>